Hi everyone. Um, I have uh, just one more mission inspiration to do for November 2015 and two for December 2015. These are, um, I call them the oldies. Uh, this was before Mike Deacon set up his Facebook group and I printed those out and I'm go going to make them as well. So this is a, is, is a kind of a fun uh, one because a few steps is use your least favorite color. I'm not sure if there is such a thing but if there is a color I could name that I don't like all that much and don't uh, use very much it would be a brown I think yeah a brown so I think I'm going to use this and uh, well marks with found objects newspaper magazine tags platter drips uh, this one is fun at marks with your eyes closed so that will be uh, interesting uh, stencils, circles, and draw with your non-dominant hand. So, um, I have no idea where this uh, is going. I just use my old art journal novel book. Uh, I've just sewed the pages uh, on forehand and um, I'm going to start with uh, adding my least favorite color the brown and what will happen after that i have really really no idea it doesn't speak of a focal image so uh, maybe i can do something with uh, the circles maybe uh, i'm not sure so um, i will speed things up and do a voice over so you can um, uh, follow that uh, that part and will hear me talk about the products that I use. So let's start. Wish me good luck. So as uh, said before, here I am adding the brown acrylic paint, which is uh, a paint from Apple Barrel and I'm adding it with a baby wipe and uh, immediately I am thinking yuck I really don't like this color so I'm taking a bit off with my baby wipe and then I'm thinking I could use another color with this a color I also uh, don't use very much uh, this, this cobalt blue uh, actually, blue is one of my favorite colors, but that's more the teal colors and the aqua and the azure colors. And this cobalt blue, I don't use very much. So I added that as well. And um, that was for step one. And then step two is add marks with found objects. So then I decide to uh, use some colors I do like, uh, hopefully to cover up uh, the yucky bit uh, underneath. Um, I picked out a few tools uh, which uh, are, are great to use to add marks and that is some lids from bottles and also a funnel and this is actually um, a sort of a spatula you use to add um, glue I believe uh, this is uh, a piece of cardboard that was in a, a game a board game which I used to make uh, which I use as a stencil really and I'm using a metallic acrylic paint for that adding a few of the circles on top of the page 
and drying in between layers. And this is uh, from a card, a postcard, which had a circle shaped uh, image. And I cut that out, so I'm left with a sort of a stencil again, really. And I'm using the metallic paint again. Uh, that paint is from Artista, I believe. So I have a few circles on the top of my page. Then three says add newspaper or magazine text. And I use magazine text and I chose some bigger letters and I'm uh, tearing them uh, right uh, across the word so it, it isn't, uh, you can't read it anymore, what it said. And then I'm gluing this down in uh, a vertical line with the Mod Podge. So now I am doing a few of the oldies of the Mission Inspirations. Uh, really, I am, uh, I can't wait to start on the new ones for January 2017. I've noticed they are a bit different uh, than we uh, done in 2016. I'm very much looking forward to that. I will leave you some links in the description box if you decide to play along and uh, visit the Facebook group set by Mike Deacon. Um, okay, what am I doing here? Uh, for add splatter and drips and this is an archival ink in a blue color and I'm adding that on the top of the page and spraying it with water to make it run down in drips. So uh, I covered up mostly of my yucky brown color really and now I am splattering with a homemade acrylic paint. Then we go to five. Oh yeah. Um, add marks with your eyes closed so <laughs> just to make sure I added the paint in a, in, a, in a cup because I didn't want it to go everywhere on my table and well you can't see it but really I am having my eyes closed but I am feeling with my uh, left hand um, searching for the edges of my page so it will be controlled a bit and I'm using the lid and a few other things to make some marks with a black acrylic paint. And this is the funnel. And that turned out quite okay, really. Then six, add stencils. And I'm using a stencil from the Crafters Workshop and the Liquid Text Modeling Paste. And this is a small tile texture and just making a few of those little dots uh, around my page. And this is a stencil by stamping back, I believe. Adding a few of the letters to my page. Also with the liquid text modeling paste. And then step seven, add circles. And um, I was going through a magazine and I found these circles which um, are the days of the week really. Uh, they 
uh, had the names of the the days of the week on them except for the Monday I believe I couldn't find the Monday but well I th thought uh, to use them anyway so um, lovely circles with lovely images on them so I I decided to make them uh, my focal point as well so I'm adding the circles with a um, Mod Podge um, in a horizontal line really uh, on my page and then 8 draw with your non-dominant hand um, I decided to outline the circles a bit and uh, I start doing that with my left hand which is my non-dominant hand and you can see it because this is speed up a couple of times but I'm very shaky with drawing with my left hand so I only did a couple of the circles um, uh, thinking that would be okay and for the rest of the circles I will continue with my right hand just trying to add a bit of shadow and depth around the circles I'm um, using the Faber Castell artist pit pens in a few different colors that is a, a blue and a kind of teal color and the black I believe and I'm getting a lovely cup of coffee from my hubby so adding the Faber Castell pit pants I'm immediately or trying to smudge it a bit with my other hand to make more of a shadow then step 9 is print with bubble wrap and this is a white acrylic paint a piece of bubble wrap and just adding a few and stamping on my page really with this which adds a few more of, of the circles And at this point, I'm thinking, well, I had no idea where this uh, could go. Uh, I didn't have the circles cut out at that time. I, I, I had to go search for them. And um, well, I was quite happy with how this turned out really. So for the last step, uh, 10, add something shiny or sparkly. I took out a few uh, gems in a turquoise and a kind of a gold color and gluing this down with a tacky glue and that's about it for my page and for this golden oldie mission inspiration of November 18 2015 as I said remember to check the description box below I will leave you a link to Mike Deacon's Facebook group the mission inspiration Facebook group um, if you like to join in you put in a request and uh, we uh, will approve it and you can play along show us your pages and um, have fun together with these mission inspirations so uh, I see I'm inking the edges here with the stays on yet black ink pad and that will be it um, for my page so thanks again everyone for watching and uh, hope you like it um, give it a thumbs up if you did because that really helps for people to find me on youtube and i hope you have a great day well see you again soon guys bye bye